hope this comes out. Um, I'm attempting to build a sort of freelance representation of a Darjeeling Class B locomotive produced by Sharp Stewart uh, in about 1888-1889. And this is a line drawing I've got, which uh, with some notes on it by me, that kind of shows the outline of what I'm trying to do. It won't be a scale model, it'll be loosely to 1 to 19 to run on my garden railway. But I stress it's not a scale model, not intended to be. I cannot be bothered with drawings. And I'm going to kind of make it up as I go along. This outline drawing is taken from a book called Halfway to Heaven by a chap called Terry Martin, who sadly died in 2010. I don't have a copy of the book. Um, they're very difficult to obtain. It was a very small print run. And when they change hands, it seems to be for about £500, which is way beyond my league. But I have a friend called Bob Rayner, who has a friend called Ivan Pryor of IP Engineering. Ivan has a copy of the book, which he kindly lent to me to make a photocopy of this uh, drawing and some photos and other bits and pieces in the book. I'm also going to draw heavily on a book called The Anatomy of the Darjeeling Garrett and the engine it tried to pl replace, the DHR Class B, by Peter Manning. This book contains some very detailed uh, section drawings but they are very small and as I'm rather old I have quite a lot of difficulty in actually seeing them. So uh, here is uh, a sort of general side view drawing from Peter Manning's book with a few notes added by me. I don't know how well any of this comes out. But gives the general appearance of the locomotive. And here is an example of some of the in uh, illustrations in Peter's book where he gives uh, really quite good detail of the construction with some uh, dimensions, imperial dimensions, generally drawn to a scale of either 1 in 24 or 1 to 48. And using my trusty scale rule and calculator, it really is predominantly from these illustrations in Peter's book that I'm trying to uh, construct the detail. And if all goes well, this is a photograph of the prototype, which my model hopefully eventually may represent. When I do things like this, as I previously said, I don't usually make drawings. I just make a few sketches and then cut metal. And uh, with locomotives like this, the first thing I do is to uh, try and cut frames out and make some wheels. As you can see, one of the features of this locomotive is that the end of the frames is it's quite an overhang, but the, uh, the firebox end is rather wider than the main part of the frames. So how far have I got with the Darjeeling Class B? Well, I've sort of got a chassis sorted out, uh, part completed, and here it is. It, uh, it has working, or will be when it's finished, uh, well shirts valve gear, that's all this business here. Um, and probably will run on either 32 or 45 mil uh, gauge in, on the garden railway. Um, really no drawings used, just making it up as I go along by eye. Um, the chassis does roll. I haven't tested it on air yet because so far I haven't uh, made the valve covers so there's no good to put it on air. Um, but there you go, that's, uh, that's the chassis so far.
currently in production, today's the 16th of December 2017, is really what you might call a kit of parts from which I will make the boiler. Um, it's going to be a fairly low pressure engine, probably run at 30 or 40 psi I guess. Um, it's very small capacity. Um, the, the diameter of the boiler I think will be roughly to scale. Sadly it's going to be butane fired. I say sadly because I don't like butane firing. I'd much prefer spirit firing but I think having a spirit tank uh, in or around this locomotive as it's so small is probably going to be too dangerous even for me. Um, this here is the um, fire tube. At the moment I've got three cross tubes uh, is what I'm proposing to put in water tubes. I might add another one. I'll have to think about that. These various bits are the various gauge bushes and dome bushes etc etc. Uh, boiler end plate, some cleaning um, and uh, the, the front plate. I'll just uh, move on to a different clip. So these are some of the boiler bits just loosely assembled, not soldered together yet, on the locomotive frame. Um, various bushes, that will be for the water glass, uh, that's for the safety valve. And this one here will be the turret for the steam controls. That's not prototypical because the prototype did not have a steam turret, it was all attached to the back head, the controls, but this is so small. I balk at the thought of trying to get all that in. There's bugger all water space in this thing as it is. This large bush, which won't be seen ultimately, is the bush over which a uh, a dummy dome, steam dome, will be fitted. Um, but, and that will contain, this bush will contain what's called an Enot valve, which will be a supplementary method of filling the boiler with water when it's under steam to supplement the, um, the axle pump, which is down here in the middle. Um, should that fail, which my ones often do, don't ask me why, but there you go. Um, the, I don't know what I said, the, the, the boiler outside diameter is roughly to scale. The flue tube is too big, really, um, but actually is the only bit of copper pipe I happen to have in my stock of uh, approximately the right size, but I could have done with a bit that was a bit smaller in diameter, but I ain't got any, so I'll use what I've got. As yet, um, I haven't decided quite where to mount the boiler. It's, at the moment, it's just loosely placed on the uh, on the frames uh, and can be moved backwards and forwards. Um, haven't quite figured out where to put it yet. I have to wait and see. This block here, that's actually not the um, smoke box saddle. It's just convenient to rest the boiler on it. It's a block of steel. Um, which ultimately will be uh, cosmetic, cosmetically altered to represent uh, the sandboxes that this thing had. But it's quite convenient at the moment to stand the boiler on it. Uh, the other thing I haven't decided, I have to say, as yet, I'll do it by eye, is um, just how high the boiler should be above the frames. I'm not sure if that's quite right. Oh, we'll have a look at that. Today is the 15th of January 2018. I've decided to do a little bit more work on the um, 1888 Sharp Stewart Darjeeling B. I haven't done anything on it for quite a while, partly because I was bored with it and partly because I've got a bit sidetracked. Anyway, um, sort of finished the Welsh Oats valve gear, but it's not correct. Um, it's not properly assembled, uh, but there's too much movement in forward and full forward and full back gear on the uh, on the expansion link. It's rocking too much. Um, so one of the things I think might might not be right is the uh, is the lifting link, which is this little bit here, is too short. So I'm going to try making some longer lifting links to see if that improves matters. Uh, so we'll see how we get on.
Today is the 1st of February 2018. A little bit more progress on the 1888 Sharp Stuart. Um, I've now got the um, all the lagging in place and the cleading on the boiler. I think I referred in an earlier video that I was thinking of uh, lengthening this link because the well shirt's gear wasn't working quite as I wished but in the end I didn't didn't actually lengthen the link what I've actually done is moved it along and made this uh, joint more right angles which seems to have sorted out the uh, the movement problems I was having with the expansion link I've um, now got the exhaust pipes soldered in and that will be the exhaust tee I'm not sure if that's how it's going to look when I finish but that's where it is um, I've also both sides on the cylinders silver soldered in the copper pipes which ultimately will feed steam into the cylinders I hope the um, The wing tank is in place and is watertight. I've tested that with a drop of water. This will connect by a couple of pipes ultimately to uh, a saddle tank uh, as the prototype. And certainly the intention is both the saddle tank and the wing tanks will hold water. And in fact already are connected to the axle pump, ready to pump uh, so that they can pump water into the boiler. So that's a plan, sort of. These two rings uh, represent the potential uh, bracing rings at each end of the firebox, which I may or may not use, but anyway, at the moment they're the right diameter, and uh, I'll have to see how I get on with that. I'm not totally certain how the devil I'm going to actually connect the firebox to the rest of it at the moment. All looking a bit complicated, really. So I'll have to see how I get on. A bit more thinking required, as usual. Anyway, there you go. Slowly, slowly.